Welcome to DevKit Weekly. I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy. This week we'll be reviewing the ST Eval Kit Robot 1. If a few things seem a little bit different, that's because firstly, I'm not Brandon Lewis, who usually hosts these segments for you guys. My name's Perry Cohen. I'm the Associate Editor for Embedded Computing Design. And secondly, as you might notice, we are filming from home this week. So let's get started. Despite measuring just 40 by 40 millimeters, the board's packed with a ton of great features including lots of I.O. and enough compute power for most IoT applications. The Eval Kit Robot 1 also features Hall sensors and Modbus communication protocol through RS-485. But the thing that really makes this kit stand out is that it ships with a Maxim EC-I40 motor, uh, this one right here, that offers a nominal speed of about 4,000 RPMs. That's something you don't see too often. And for control of that motor, the board integrates a relatively powerful three-phase motor control. A Cortex-M0 microcontroller serves as the brains behind the motor controller. And it's designed so MCU can perform field-oriented control with closed-loop positioning. The included Maxon motor operates over an input range of 12 to 45 volts. It provides a high torque density and low cogging torque. The EC-I40 motor can be used for high precision positioning and speed control, especially when it's coupled with the Maxon ENX16 EZ1024 Pulse's incremental encoder, which operates at 5 volts. If you want to snag one of these kits for yourself, you can for $129. Or, as always, you can enter this week's raffle and take your chances at winning one for free. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you next week on DevKit Weekly. A Cortex-M0 microcontroller serves as the brains behind the microcontroller. A Cortex-M0 microcontroller serves as the brains behind the motor control. And it's designed so... Hmm. A Cortex-M0 microcontroller is the brains behind the... A Cortex M0 microcontroller serves as the brains behind the motor controller, and it's designed so the MCU can perform field orientate. And it's uh, let's start over from the beginning. A Cortex M0 microcontroller serves as the brains behind the motor. A Cortex M0 microcontroller serves as the brains behind the motor controller, and it's designed so the MCU can perform field oriented control with loop closed positioning. A Court